Do you want to build a farm that will protect itself automatically so that when you enter a tile and your farm is getting raided, you don't have to panic? This is a system for you. I want to teach you how to do that. All right, Mokos, today I'm going to show you how to build an automatic farm defense system. And as you can see behind me, we're going to need a few things. You need three logic gates, one timer, four sensors, level one is fine, four pistons, ideally level two, and four sport suspension. And then you need two different blocks of choice where one block is quite heavy. So you need, this is normal stone, that's fine, all the way up to level three concrete, etc., etc. This is our farm here, right? We want to protect this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our blocks and we're just going to build a wall and we're going to do it four blocks high and we're going to build this wall all the way around our would-be farm. So that's the important bit done. Then you want the sport suspension and we're going to put one of those on each side around here. And on this, we're going to connect our other block. But realistically, you would like a block that's got a high sort of damage protection because this is going to be attacked by our bots. This is something that we want them to do because this is actually a trigger. These suspension, they want to be set just one up. And what happens here is they're going to be used like this as a push button to trigger. So then this is where our four sensors come in. We want our four sensors. That was a good shot, wasn't it? We want our four sensors inside here looking outwards. So our four sensors go in our main wall, looking out at the little pad that we've just placed. Now these sensors, I want to go in here, set them to number two. I'm going to put the sound on just so you can hear it activate. If you hear the squeak, it means it's activating. So all of these will go up to number two. And this is where our logic comes in because we're going to do nor nor or gate. This is going to be kind of like a lock. So we want this to all loop up in a triangle. And our bottom two, we want them to be nors. Our top one, we want to be an or. Now it's going a bit crazy. So if you have got a button at hand, this is going to be a reset button. So we're going to grab this, put it here, and bosh, right? Timer. You get our timer. And you go from the or gate into the timer. And from the timer to the off OR gate. Get all of our sensors, link our sensors up to the NOR gate that is illuminated. So now what you'll have is let's set this up to four seconds. If I hit this, you'll hear the squeak. It's activated this and then the timer is on. When the timer stops, it resets the circuit. That is perfect. Now this is where our pistons come into play and we want these. So a level one piston can extend seven and we want it super fast. So let me just show you what happens here. So this is hit, this activates, helps have a block on piston. Piston goes out, awesome. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be utilizing. We hit this, this comes out. I'll use the stone for this, you don't have to, you can just use the wood. And then we wanna come out. So we're above this. So that's where that is. We want to come two in front of that and then put our pistons here. And this is what we need the stone for. So the stone is going to go on here because it's a big, heavy squish plate. Now, I personally like to do it three blocks wide. So we're out here and run it all the way back down here. And this is basically what is going to be doing our defending for us. So in order to activate that, you go from that top again to the piston. Set the piston up to number seven and to fast. And when that's activated, boom, that goes down. We check our timer, so it's down for too long. So we've got to change this timer. So we'll put it to one second, because what we're looking for here is a quick squash. So one second on this is about perfect. So now if your farm is in here, and for example, a tote bot spawns, He's going to get angry, he's going to come for us, he's going to hit that pad, and he's going to get squashed. That's brilliant, and it works. It'll work on all four sides, like I say. You'll have another one here. Link that piston up to the top as well, and again, set it up. We want it to be seven, and we want it to be the fastest that's available. So if anybody hits this side, boom, down it goes. Now, as you notice, when we hit one side, all of the sides will trigger. And this is because it's the cheapest way to do it. So if we come over here, we spawn a tote bot, and he comes in and he decides to get angry, and he hits this. He'll get squashed, and this one also comes down. So this is handy if you're getting raided. 
Now, the only problem that you've got here is on a level one piston, if we get a Haybot in, so there you go. So he, he doesn't come underneath it, he just attacks it itself because he is too tall for it. So that is why you would need a level two piston so that you can move it up a couple more squares. And the best thing about this is with the level two piston, it gets even quicker. So again, hook that up to, to that gate. Come in, check out this. Upgrade it to level two, faster and faster. So now, if we get a pesky little haybot in here, he'll come at us, he hits that, and he gets absolutely wrecked. So we can spawn a couple of them. They'll come us over. Absolutely destroyed. A lot of people say, hey, well, I do it on a controller. So this is a level one controller, and what we're saying is, go down, come up. As fast as you can, loop. So if we turn this on, goes down, it comes up. Now, let me tell you, the problem with this is, if you've got a farm here, these boys are pretty clever. They're going to learn to wait, or they'll attack it. If they wait, what happens is they can get up on top, and then they'll ride it and they'll jump in. And people go, okay, yeah, but upgrade your controller, okay? So we'll upgrade it all the way to level 5, we'll turn it all the way up. It still pauses at the bottom. You see how it's at the bottom? It's down there for too long. You need this piston on a timer so that it basically just touches the floor. Boom. Boom. And we can, obviously, being in the timer itself, we can change the number of ticks so we can make it even faster. So it's just on the floor and it's up again. You go a long, long way away and come back with a base raid happening. And when you come back into the tile and the raid loads in, this thing is ready to go and it'll work all the time. It's pretty simple and pretty easy. Really helpful. Anyway, guys, cheers.